Hi everyone, I'm Greg Herbrook, and I'm here with my brother Herb and my niece Emily, and on behalf of the entire Herbrook family, welcome to Herbrook's Poultry Ranch. Our family egg business started back in the 1930s. Today, we produce almost two billion eggs every year, all of which are processed and packaged here at our facilities, and then shipped to our customers for consumers throughout the country to enjoy. Producing high quality eggs starts with our hens. It's our responsibility to care for them and to ensure they're healthy. Then they provide us with safe and affordable eggs. Our hens live and produce eggs in a variety of housing types, with some of them in cage-free housing, which was one of the systems studied as part of the Coalition for Sustainable Egg Supplies research. Today, we're gonna to take a tour of one of our cage-free barns and then show you where those eggs are processed and packaged, ready for you to enjoy. Thanks again for visiting us at Herbrook's Poultry Ranch. Let's go take a look. We're in the hen house now. I wanted you all to understand, since we last were out front, we had to enter and put on our biosecurity gear. I'm wearing what a visitor might wear as, when they come on site. Rob here is dressed how all employees um, enter a hen house. He has his company clothes on, his company shoes, and his personal protection gear for this environment. There's more, the, the chickens can scratch and so you get, we have to wear eye protection. So this is how we dress to come into hen house. Main reason is called biosecurity. We are protecting the hens from any disease entering our barns by our personal carrying it on. A lot of viruses and bacteria can be carried on your shoes or your person, so we have to protect our hens from that, and that's what this is all about. So it's, it's really one of the critical steps that a human can do to protect the welfare of our hens. The biggest thing you'll notice compared to our cage towers is the birds can roam wherever they want. The tr tough part about cage free, the birds can roam wherever they want. The process of educating a bird about how to live in these style systems starts day one of life. They have to understand that they have this freedom and how to use it so that they know they don't get lost, they, don't, they know where the feeders are, they know how to jump. It's like being a mother hen, teaching them how to jump, how to fly. All that happens at different stages in the grow cycle. And we have to develop systems and management so that they are exhibiting behaviors that fit into what our needs, which is they lay their eggs where they're supposed to, they, they eat the feed where they're supposed to, and they put their manure where they're supposed to. So all those are critical parts of, of the management of a hen in a system like this. We also have a make available to inside the system feed, water, and a nesting area. So if you look back there, there's a little red cup with a, a, a fountain on it. That's where they drink their water. It's a very natural approach. The birds like to reach up to drink their water. There's a little red catch cup so we don't spill any water. It gets onto the manure belt. Well, there's multiple levels. First off, you have a scratch area where they can go down and scratch and dust bay. That's one of the behaviors you're trying to accomplish with cage-free. The scratch area, the litter area, has the concrete underneath is heated. So that what that does, that provides the heat for the winter time, but it also keeps the manure dry. And that's why you see it this nice, dry, fluffy state. So that that's a, a major health factor for the hen. Wet manure in its environment is a health risk. Dry manure is a safe environment. Also, birds have a natural thing they want to perch, especially at the evening. They want to be up and away from where potential predators. It's just natural in them. Perching's all designed around giving them enough space where they can group together and they find security. Position of the perch, the shape of the perch, the height of the perch, all these are different factors that come into the design. It isn't just dropping them on birds on the floor nowadays and be happy. It's, it's all around how do they thrive in these environments. This is their private area where they can, they sleep in here, they sleep on the perching, and this is where they get very comfortable. It's their safe zone. As they get older, there's ladders that allow them to walk or they can fly, either one. So everything is designed around how they live in that system. They can hop, they can go horizontal, they can go vertical. They can choose to be where they want to be. And they can go interact with other hens. Once the bird can be free roaming, we have to do more control things to help keep them healthy. Since they have access to the litter, that is a health stressor. It's a, it's a dirtier environment. They've got access to more dirt and that, that puts a challenge on their whole health system. So their immune system has to be extremely strong to deal with viruses and bacteria. We give them extra vitamins. We keep the manure very dry so it doesn't get bad shape for them. And we have to give them like extra enzymes so their body can better digest food in this 
a little more difficult environment. It's just one of the trade-offs in the living environment between a cage, cage-free environment. Part of the management is they can interact badly. <laughs> they can choose to be where they want to be and they can make a bad decision every now and then. One is the birds are can move around and they can pile on themselves an old uh, fear if they get afraid, they, something scares them and spooks them, they could wind up piling on top of each other. The other is um, they're more chance of getting picked on by a group of bad uh, behaving birds. So you tend to get more birds um, injured or killed by their pen mates. Those are the main challenge differences um, and plus caring for them takes extra effort. So the benefit to us is it's, it's interesting, we love birds. For the consumer, they get to know that that hen, if that's important to them, that the living system uh, they lived in that produced the eggs they're consuming, um, that the hen thrived in that environment. And there will always be people that say, I want that lower priced egg and they'll want to buy the, the, the conventional. But others, there's a range of options, be it the cage free, the nutrients enhancements to the egg itself and then maybe the ultimate would be organic where it's a lot of those things and they want that attribute in the, the product they purchase. A hen naturally wants to lay its egg in an area where it's private and a little darker. This is the nesting area. These red curtains create a shadow area and on the floor there's a special padded floor. So once the hen lays its egg it rolls onto an egg collection belt. The collection belt takes it to a, a large egg cross conveyor and once it's there, it's on to processing. In our system, um, most of the eggs are still warm uh, at the time they hit the processing plant because they've just been laid. Once the eggs enter the processing plant, the first thing that happens is we wash them. And that consists of uh, basically a warm water bath where we run uh, wash water at about 100 degrees and uh, have a warm soapy bath with some real gentle brushes that scrub the eggs. Once they leave the egg washers, they're rinsed off and, um, and dried. After they're dried, then we run them through a vision system that takes pictures of each egg. And we treat each egg at that point as individual. And we determine if the egg is clean or not. And if the egg is uh, dirty, it gets rewashed. After that, the eggs are um, passed through a crack detector where we actually tap each egg and listen for sound waves. So if there's any slight crack in an egg, uh, we determine that that's a cracked egg. and we would send it to a different purpose than um, a retail pack. Uh, if an egg is leaking at that point, it's removed from the system and is considered uh, not fit for human consumption. Once the machine determines that it's a good quality egg, uh, we weigh each egg and then determine its size. And based on that size, we'll send it to the appropriate egg pack size, which you would see on the egg carton, a large egg or a medium egg. So once the eggs go into the cartons, uh, they get closed by the machine, they get a date, an individual identifier in each carton which identifies the time of the day, even down to which packer, which part of the machine that carton was passed on. Um, after that, it goes into a box. And each box then gets a similar identifier uh, so that, uh, that they can be tracked all the way through the system. Uh, we, we actually can identify every dozen of eggs and actually what store it went to and what time it was received at that store. And and then it gets uh, palletized and into the cooler. Certainly you can see that we process a lot of eggs here. Uh, around 3,000 eggs a minute this machine will process. And of course it takes uh, a fair amount of people to do this, but it's, it's much more automated than it used to be. Also it's much more accurate uh, than it used to be. So about a third of our eggs go to food service, so to restaurants where you would eat an egg sandwich or uh, scrambled eggs or something like that. And about two thirds of it go into retail packs where you would buy our eggs at a grocery store. So now that you've seen where the eggs are laid, uh, you've seen them washed, packed, and pelletized, and they're ready to go to the customer. Thanks for joining us on our tour of cage-free hen housing. At Herbrooks, we serve the hen by giving her the best care, so we can provide you with safe, high quality, and affordable eggs. As was found in the Coalition's research, each housing system has a variety of aspects to be considered when choosing which eggs are best for you. For us, that's why informed choice is so important, because it gives our customers and consumers the ability to purchase the eggs they want, based on what matters most to them. On behalf of the entire Herbrook family, it's been a pleasure showing you around. Thanks again for visiting Herbrook's Poultry Ranch.